Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. Um, oh, that one hair, right? Ugh. So I got a letter from a young girl, 20, 21, whatever. And she writes to me and says, okay, so I've been watching you for a while. I don't comment, I just watch. My life has been hard. She proceeds to explain to me how her life has been hard. And then explains to me how her life has hardened her. And she was like, I'm tough. I don't put up with anybody's crap. I don't take crap from guys. I don't take crap from friends. Um, and she goes on and on to tell me how strong she is. And she says, okay, so you've gotten my attention. You claim that you used to be so tough and so strong. And now you cry in these videos, you, you know, you feel everything. How does this work? I'm paraphrasing, it was a long email. And I'm laughing as I'm reading it because she is exactly who I would have been at 21. Basically, she's calling bullshit, right? Um, so I wanna respond to her, to the sentiment. When I was young, I went through things that hardened me. I built small individual walls up around experiences that I went through. Starting in fourth grade and up through the death of my father, heartaches from friends, boy, boyfriends who let me down, cheated, blah, 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 to sorority bids I didn't get, to just any disappointment that I felt the world was out to get me. That is the space I lived in. Anything bad that happened to me was catastrophic and everybody was out to get me. This is how I internalized it. And I was as tough as they come. Quick to fight. I didn't know, I didn't have the tools to talk anything out. Nothing. I couldn't, my sadness was here, literally ready to bubble over at a moment's notice. So in order to suppress that, I had to be tough. I couldn't ever let people see that I was sad about things. I had to be fine about everything. I'm fine, I'm fine, it's fine. I was the queen of it's fine. If there was a, there was a group of the it's fine people, I was the leader. Um, I didn't have the tools to talk about anything, so I fought physically. That was easy for me. I could win. It was satisfying. I got acknowledgement for it, and then it became my persona. I went to other towns, and people knew who I was before I got there, and it was a thing. It was my thing, my cloak of protection. As I grew up and realized I didn't want to be that person anymore, you, ha you face, you look yourself in the mirror one day, and you go, okay, if you choose to go out into the world not being the person to answer every battle that comes to your door, you will be vulnerable. There is no other way around it. You will have to feel, you will have to cry, you will have to lose at some point. Whether you lose a fight, whether you lose a friend, cutting people off was my skill. It was my talent. If there was like a talent show for Miss Jerky Universe. I was winning and my talent was cutting people out of my life. No questions asked. The thing is this. I was only hurting myself because I wasn't growing in any capacity. I was ending things before I had the ability to grow at all. Oh, you hurt me? No problem. Cutting you off. You're done. You're dead to me. People would remark. They would go, I've never seen anything like it. You can cut people off and treat them as if they don't exist. I, I've just never seen any human being do that to people that they have like bonds with and relationships with. Eventually that becomes your persona. So is it scary? Yes. 
it is terrifying for me every day to be honest about how I feel, which is why coffee talk is so important to me. Does it make me weak? This is where you're wrong. No. If you find my kindness, my journey weak, it's because you still are built, you, you still are living behind so many walls. You're not close to where I am now. I used to find people like me weak. Oh, you're sad your friendship ended? Oh, really? Like, it's a friendship, get over yourself. Oh, you're sad your boyfriend cheated on you? He's a piece of crap, you know, whatever, who cares? Move on, it's fine. Uh, when you place value on relationships and you realize that the relationship you have poured yourself into is not meant to go the distance, that is heartbreaking. You are not weak to say, I am heartbroken. I poured everything I had into this friendship and had to come to the realization that it was not meant to go the distance. So I had to make the painful, thoughtful decision to walk away. This wasn't about cutting people out of my life because I'm so tough. It was about saying, you're not healthy for me, this is not healthy for me, and it is breaking my heart, so I have to go. There is a difference. So young people who watch and go, oh, Jamie's weak now. I know that's not what you think. You want to know desperately if there's a better way to do things. You want to know if there is a possibility that you will eventually, that your, that your exterior will eventually soften so you can feel something. Because the difference is you may not be numbing yourself with drugs and you may, may not be numbing yourself with alcohol, but if you think you're not numbing yourself to life, you're out of your mind. It's exactly what you're doing. You are numbing yourself. And growth only happens when you allow yourself to feel. Doesn't make you weak, it makes you healthy, as a matter of fact. It makes you healthy. That is all I can say. So, if you are watching these videos, it's not because you wanna sit on the sidelines and comment on how weak I've become because the only thing weak right now is my left eyebrow game, clearly. Um, what I'm doing and who I've become and the journey I'm on does not make me weak. Um, and if you are watching, it's because you too wanna know what it's like to feel. You wanna know what it's like to have two feet in instead of always having one foot out the door, ready to run before anybody, to hurt them before they can hurt you. I know the whole game. You can't play it better than me. I played it for so long, I think I wrote the rule book to that game. Here's what else I'll tell you. I'm so glad you're here because I know both sides of it. I know being the bully. I know cutting myself off from emotion, from people, from love from life, from experience, from growth. It is a miserable, lonely existing existence, always thinking the world is out to get you because you are the person always out to get everybody else, right? So when you are guilty in your actions, you assume everybody else is guilty in theirs. Uh, when you become good and kind, you are able to see the kindness in the world. That is the only time it will happen for you. You wanna see the beauty, you wanna see the kindness, go out and be the beauty, be the kindness, and you will find it. Uh, I love you so much today. I really do. I see you. I know you're out there even if you don't comment. And I love you even if you don't love you. Have a great day.